Hey, what is up guys? Brandon here, and today I'm back with the Minecraft Pocket Edition video, and today, guys, I have something pretty cool for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to live in a single cobblestone block. Now, you guys might be wondering, Brandon, how is this possible? You know, how are you supposed to make an entire house out of a single cobblestone block? Like, you know, that's literally impossible to live in. Well, let me show you guys. There are two ways to do this. One is a little bit more um, sophisticated than the other in the use of command blocks. So I'll get to what I mean by that later, but I'm just going to demonstrate really quickly what I'm doing here. So here's our command block and here is our block. Now it's not exactly a cobblestone block. This version is actually the uh, the cooler version, I guess you could say the upgraded version of my idea. But um, yeah, let's just demonstrate right over here. We're just going to walk over here into our little house and ta-da, here we are inside our house. You know, we have our little, uh, little bunk beds over here. We actually have four of them. So four bunk beds, this can seat or house how many people? Two, eight, 16, 32 people. 32 people can sleep here. That's that's actually ridiculous because, you know, these have double beds. So yeah, and then we have the cool little carpet design, the bookshelves, things like that. This was just a little house that I threw together just for demonstration purposes of how to live inside. But as you guys can see with the walls, we are completely inside a cobblestone block. Or at least that's what you're led to believe. This was actually created from Command Block Magic which at least I think it's magic because this is honestly insane how this works. But I'm going to try and break it down for you guys on how you guys can do this for yourself. So yeah, I think this was pretty cool. Like, you know, just the thought of living inside a single cobblestone block. So um, yeah, if we're just going to tap this, this will take us back to the surface and I will begin explaining how this works. So first of all, there are two versions. There was my idea that I had, which utilizes a just normal cobblestone block with a command block underneath it and then a button. So yeah, this, this was the very... Uh, simple version this one is pretty easy basically all you have to do is carve out an underground base which i did so you know if i walk over here if i can get teleported there we go so right over here this is actually completely underground completely out of sight out of mind so you know nobody will really find it that's that's kind of the goal i guess so you know you can live here and it's like you're living in an entire cobblestone block which is actually pretty cool but truth to be told this is a giant area underground so you know it's kind of like a trick video what was that you guys see this glitch Whoa, Mr. Enderman, you are very, very glitchy. I don't know what's going on with you, but that is... Dude, what is this? Okay, I'm just going to ignore him. But anyways, there isn't actually a simpler way to do this, and I'm going to explain the simple way first, and then move on to the, uh, the more, I guess, fancy way I figured out how to do. But yeah, so the first way is to just do a simple command, which is TP, and then you just need the coordinates of where the building is. So the underground building that I'm using is at 61... 47, 8. So we just do this and we can leave it like that. And essentially, if I tap this, oh wait, no, we need to do TP at P. Forgot to do that. Sorry about that. I skipped the step. You can't just throw in the coordinates. Why can't I type? Here we go. You have to do TP at P and then you need your coordinates. There we go. So 47, 8. See guys, I'm still command block noob. I have no idea what I'm doing. But command is set. Tap this and ta da. Welcome. Welcome to the house. That's, you know, your very, very simple cobblestone block trick on just how to live in there. And actually I should probably patch this up. So, you know, I think of it like this. You can either, honestly, you could probably use this as well, like a little uh, pressure plate. But you know, it's like you walk up to the house, ring the doorbell, and there you go, you're in. It, it's as simple as that. Alrighty guys, don't panic. It may look like your screen has frozen, but I promise you I'm the one doing this, not you. I just had to kind of pause the video really quickly to let you guys know that I actually forgot to tell you guys something. I told you how to get into the cobblestone block, but not how to get out. As you guys see, I have this uh, command block here. Essentially, to get out is the same way as getting in, reach do slash tp at p with a certain set of coordinates. Now, in order to do this, you will need to know the coordinates of somewhere on the surface, and I do recommend something like spawn. So, um, yeah, essentially, it's the same way to get out as to get back in. Just use command block with a button or a pressure plate and have that command block set to teleport you somewhere onto the surface. So, um, yeah, that's about it. But the more sophisticated way of doing this, or the fancier way of doing this, actually wasn't, uh, wasn't made by myself. This was actually made by someone else who's much, much better at command block creations. His name is Derpy Jones. You guys have probably heard of him. He's the guy who did the quarry as well as, I think he's done something else that I reviewed. I honestly can't remember, but I've done so many command block creation things, guys. Like I honestly lost, I lost count, but I know for a fact that he's done the quarry one. So um, yeah, this guy is just an absolute whiz at command blocks. Insane. So go check him out. Go check out his video, his channel, etc., etc. But um, yeah, this was his version, which uses a lot more command blocks, so I will try my best to explain it. So first of all, how this works, I'm just going to destroy this, and actually I'm going to do a little uh, little thing right here. So I'm going to do game rule, command, 
block output false. Oh, no, wait, no, I need to make it true. So essentially what this does is, when there's a command going on, the output of that will be put in the chat. So in other words, you know, if you have a command block that's set to TP to certain coordinates, when you tap on the command block, if the output is set as true, it'll show up in the chat like it did over here, or like it is right now, you know, it says, fail to execute detect as brown in West 98. So as you can see, like if I tap high, that's, that's just going to get lost because there's so many more of these. This is detecting me every single tick. Now, if I turn this off, if you go game rule, command block output, and then you turn that to false, as you guys can see, that stopped. It's completely gone. It's no longer saying all this, you know, huge wall of text. And I recommend if you guys are going to do this version, set command output, command block output, set that to false because your chat is just going to get flooded with a bunch of things. Alrighty guys, so now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's move on to the command block itself. So the command block is basically set at an ever-repeating, unconditional type of thing. So it's always active, doesn't need redstone or anything, and it's just consistently repeating every single tick. So what this does is, it executes a detect command. Essentially, it's trying to detect for the closest player near a stone button. Now essentially what this does is, once it detects the stone button and a player at the stone button, it'll teleport them to the specific commands. So if you guys are trying to build this, just screenshot this, pause the video here, write this down or do something for yourself. In other words, so that can work. And essentially to get the stone button, what we want to do is we can use this head and do slash set block. And then you just want to do the squiggly line, squiggly line with a one and then a squiggly line right here. And then you want to do stone. Oops, that's not how you spell stone. Stone underscore button with a space and then put 14. Once I do this, I'm going to get teleported because it automatically detects it because it does that every tick. But if you look over here, now we have our little stone block. Now it's not necessarily a cobblestone block, but it is still, you know, a stone block. And it actually looks really, really cool because as it turns out, if you take a button and you put it on top of a Steve head, you're not able to do it normally. But if you do the set block command, the button will actually take the shape of the head. So that right now is the size of like, you know, a skeleton skull, a zombie head, anything like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it's like a normal block, but it's a lot smaller. And honestly, I think it's a lot cooler. And um, yeah, I think this version is a lot, I like this version a lot better probably because I didn't think of it. Someone smarter than me thought of it, but like you don't even have to do any buttons, anything like that. You just need a command block here. And like, honestly, you could even hide it. Like, let's just say I decided to do this. Like, look at that. The command block is not here anymore. Although I just broke the button, which isn't too good. So yeah, I probably should put the command block further away, but you guys can hide it, you know, make it out of sight, out of mind. And essentially what you can do is have that set up. So you just walk right there and it teleports you instantly. Like, you don't have to press any buttons. You don't need the pressure plates. Just looks a lot, I guess, cleaner, smoother in my opinion. So yeah, huge props to that guy for figuring it out. So make sure to go check out Derpy Jones in the description. But um, yeah, that is basically it. We have our cool little underground house here, you know, inside the cobblestone block, guys. But um, yeah, this was this was just a pretty cool uh, redstone command block trick that I thought was honestly pretty cool. It was an idea that I had because like there was this add-on from before called the smallest house, where essentially what it did was it made a, I think it turned a block or something, maybe it was a pressure plate into a tiny little house model. And the moment you walked on top of it, it would teleport you into a house like 50 blocks higher than you. So I thought, wait a minute, now that command blocks are added, like couldn't you do something like this, you know, a lot simpler without the use of add-ons, which you can do. So um, yeah, I definitely thought this was really, really cool. And I hope you guys did as well. So um, yeah, that is about it for today. If you guys did enjoy, definitely make sure to drop a like down below, you know, show your support. You guys have been killing it recently. Like, it's honestly just, it's amazing how much support I've been getting recently, guys. Like, it is absolutely insane. And, um, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to click that bell to turn on post notifications. That way, you guys will never miss an upload. Although, for the next couple of weeks, I think about just a week and a half, my upload should be pretty regular at a set time. I'm probably going to be uploading it at about 5 p.m. Hawaii time. That's about what I'm shooting for. It's Hawaii Illusion Standard Time, so that would be 8 PST, that's what I'm shooting for. But um yeah, if if it's not like that, I, I don't know, I'll, I apologize. But the videos for the next couple days should all be set at the same time. So whatever that time is, that that's what it'll be. But um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.